This is an example video for determining whether two functions are inverses of each other. In this video, we will specifically focus on the conditions that define whether two functions are inverses of each other. The functions f and g are inverses of each other if and only if f of g of x equals x for all x in the domain of g and g of f of x equals x for all x in the domain of f. Let's take a look at why this is. Say we're given the function y equals 3x. Let's find the inverse of that function. To do this, we'll switch the x and y values, then divide by 3 on both sides to get y by itself. So our original function is y equals 3x, and the inverse of that function is x over 3 equals y. Let's call our original function f of x and our inverse function g of x. In this case, we know the two functions are inverses of each other because we specifically found the inverse of the first function. So let's see what happens when we find the composition f of g of x and g of f of x. Let's start by finding f of g of x. We can do this by taking f of x equals 3x and substituting g of x, which is x over 3, in for x. The 3's will cancel out, and we're left with f of g of x equals x. Now let's find g of f of x. We can do this by taking the function g of x equals x over 3 and substituting f of x, which equals 3x, in for x. The 3's here will cancel out, and we're left with g of f of x equals x. So here we see that both the composition f of g of x and the composition g of f of x equal x, because the two functions are inverses of each other and they undo each other. Let's try a different example. Now we're given the function y equals 2x plus 4. Let's find the inverse of this function. We'll start by swapping the y and x. Now we want to get y by itself, so we'll subtract 4 from both sides and divide both sides by 2. So our original function is y equals 2x plus 4, and the inverse of this is x over 2 minus 2 equals y. Let's call our original function f of x and the inverse function g of x. Once again, we know the two functions are inverses of each other because we specifically found the inverse of the first function. Let's again find the composition f of g of x and the composition g of f of x. We can start by substituting x over 2 minus 2 into the x of the f of x function. When we distribute the 2 to the x over 2 and to the minus 2, we get x minus 4 plus 4. Negative 4 plus 4 equals 0, so we're left with f of g of x equals x. Now we can find the composition g of f of x by substituting 2x plus 4 into x for the g of x function. This fraction can be simplified, and we're left with x plus 2 minus 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so our final composition is g of f of x equals x. Again, we see that both the composition f of g of x and g of f of x equal x because the two functions are inverses and they undo each other. So when determining whether two functions are inverses of each other, we need to first find the compositions of the two functions. If both of the compositions equal positive x, then the two functions are inverses of each other. If the compositions equal anything other than positive x, the two functions are not inverses of each other.